Hi, I'm Larry W. Robinson on location here in Houston, Texas. An exciting play is coming to the city of Houston and it's going to be on some other networks as well. But Annie Johnson's The Music Hotel is coming to Houston and then to a TV near you. I'm going to go around the group. I'm going to start with my friend here. Let her introduce <laughs> herself and then we'll go back. Hi, Larry. Good to see you again. again. <laughs> um, my name is Tiffany Mosley, um, a.k.a. Tiffany R. Sings. Um, this is my second production with Annie Johnson, AWJ Productions. Um, it's been an awesome experience. Um, I play the character of Levi. Um, and guys, just come on out. Uh, please share, and we hope to see you there. All right. Hi, I'm Erica B. I play Tommy in the Music Hotel, the front desk crew. <laughs> well, we run everything. <laughs> Nothing gets by us, of course. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jermaine Jackson, and uh, I play Evan, uh, the uh, account manager. <laughs> and um, this is my second production with Miss Annie uh, Johnson and AWJ Productions. All right. Hello, my name is Micaiah Crudup. I play Tootsie, Come on, Tootsie in the Music Hotel, and me and these beautiful ladies uh, give y'all some good laughs and fun at the front desk. And make sure you come out and see us. All right, so Tiffany, I'm going to put you on the spot. Okay. Uh, summarize the music hotel. It's, it, it's actually the music hotel, mm -hmm. the lies, the betrayal, and the unity. So summarize the, the entire play for us. So it's everything that you hear about that may go on in hotels, but you really don't know for sure, but then you'll get to see a peek inside of like what with daily interactions, what may happen. Um, also, um, the goal is to make sure that we raise enough money to get through something. So I won't say more than that, but um, it is an awesome, awesome um, production. And we, we have great singers that will be a part and, and all these amazing actress, actors and actresses. All right. Do me a favor and summarize your character for us. Miss mm -hmm. Tommy, well, Miss Tommy is always professional, always on point, honey. How did you prepare she for your role? <laughs> <laughs> she keeps everybody. Well, um, I always like to try to find something that I can relate to. So, um, even though she's always seems like she has everything together, you know, in real life, sometimes we. We keep our representative out. So Tommy keeps her representative mm -hmm. out, as Erica V likes to keep her representative out. But there are some things, you know, sometimes that makes you say, wow, I'm tired. So she's going to keep her representative out, as always. But there are some things you got to come see what Tommy deals with on the other side. Okay, <laughs> all right. Uh, Mr. Jackson, yes, sir. do me a favor and tell us, uh, in the play, one of the most challenging scenes that you had to um, I would have to say, I don't know, you know what, it, it really wasn't that challenging, to be honest. Um, when I uh, sat down and just, you know, researched the, the characteristics of the character, it, it kind of just came natural, so. So tell me a little bit about the character that you're playing. Uh, so I play Evan, uh, he's the account manager, um, and he also is a good friend of, of Mr. Music. Um, basically, he's just, he's all about business, you know, and he just wants to make sure the hotel is running the right way. And that the employees are doing what they're supposed to be doing. Oh, so you're it. making sure that they're doing Oh, yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious, what have you learned from working with Miss Annie in this play? Me? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is my fourth go with Miss Annie. Okay, so I've learned a lot with Miss Annie Johnson. Um, I'm always honored when she brings me back into her productions. Um, working with Miss Annie, you learn a lot. Miss Annie's production is run off discipline. So mm. timeliness is important. Showing up, I've never, I've, this, I've been working with Miss Annie for two years now. I've never seen her miss a day. And we rehearse a lot. Wow. I rehearse all along. I've never seen her out of rehearsal. I've never seen her late to rehearsal. So just showing up is half the battle when you're trying to get to a goal. And also, um, character analysis. You know, we dive deep into our characters. We open up a script. If you don't have that many lines, if you're not the lead, it's easy to say, oh, this ain't nothing. You know, this is, there's nothing here. So but every character matters. Every character, mm -hmm. every, 
every character plays a part in the story. And you need to make a background for your character, some layers to your character, to bring that character to the stage to make sure that you represent that aspect of that character because somebody in the audience can relate to that character. She put these people into the play for a reason so that we minister to everybody that's in the audience. And so just, like I said, uh, discipline and character analysis and bringing those characters to the stage. In your opinion, what do you think the audience, what most about the play is going to resonate with them? Um, of many parts. Um, I'll say that there are different situations um, that a lot of different people can uh, relate to. Um, we have a little bit of history in it. We have a little bit of, of marriage things in it. Um, you know, uh, death, dealing with death and grief. Um, so it's a lot of different things that are in the play that can definitely resonate with everyone. I love it. So we're talking about the play, The Music Hall. Now, most people that know me, <clears throat> know me from a broadcast called Gospel Singing on the Spot. Uh -oh. That's where we give you a song out of the clear blue sky and say sing. Yeah. And so I thought, well, hey, since this is the music hotel, I might as well just ask some of the singers to do some singing. Amen? Amen? Amen. <laughs> All right. Now, Tiffany, I'm a, I'm a, um, she's been on the broadcast already. You can go on YouTube and find her. So I'm going to be nice to her. I'm not going to put her on the spot. Okay. But I am going to reach back here and get Elder uh, Jackson <laughs> and put Elder Jackson on the spot. All right, Elder Jackson. Um, do me a favor. Uh, sing just one of your favorite hymns that you sing to encourage your own self. I'll be nice. Ooh. Uh, mm. You got this. A flat, A flat. That's a good one. Um, hmm. You put me on the spot. He <laughs> is on the spot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about Amazing Grace? Amazing Grace is classic. Okay. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound. That saved a wretch like me. I was one lost, but now I'm found. Was 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 <laughs> young lady um, in, in four words encourage the audience to come and see this play. Uh, four words? Mm -hmm. uh, all I'm going to say is it's really, really good. Okay. Come out and see it. <laughs> Elder Jackson? Come see us. <laughs> all right. um, hope, encouragement, unity, and most of all, love. Um, heart touching, um, music, um, laughter, and encouragement. I love it. It is called The Music Hotel, The Lies, The Betrayal, and then The Unity. And it's going to be, you can come see it live in Houston, Texas. What's the date? Um, it's June 11th. Yeah. June 11th. And then after that, you can search Tubi and a whole bunch of other places <laughs> um, that you watch great plays and movies. Uh, thank you for tuning into the broadcast. We'll be back.